Hi guys, you welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be taking you through work and fluid forces. There is an application of integration. Remember that under Hooke's law, we say that provided the elastic limit of a body is not exceeded, our stress becomes proportional towards the strain. Right? So generally we have this powerful equation in physics, f is equal to kx, right? F is equal to kx. Where k is what our spring constant and x here is our our length, right? Our length or our extension. What do you say? Extension, extension. So let's see. Generally, the work done in stretching or compressing a spring is given as what the integral from a to b f of x dx f of x dx. So now. The A to B represents the change in what in length, okay? So it was originally from here to this, right? The change, effective change in length is what from A to B. Then the function here is our force given. The function here is, is what our force given. So this is an application of integration. So fluid forces and also work down on what springs and all that. So I have a problem here. So you see how we solve that. It says Find the work required to compress a spring from its natural length of 1 feet to a length of 0.75 feet if the force constant is 16. Okay, this is an interesting problem. You have a spring and the spring initially was at 1 feet. Now you've compressed the spring, right, to about 0.75 its original length, right? So right now you're having 0 0.75. They're asking you that what is the work required to compress it, right? And remember, Hooke's law is saying that the work done or the resistive forces you have to overcome is directly proportional to what the change in length that will happen. Okay, so for this reason, what is our work done? What is our work done? Our constant here is what 16, right? Our constant here is 16. Remember, I gave you the for force here. So this force f of x is the same as what k of x, right? Where k is what our spring constant, right? So here I'm going to say that f will be equal to 16x, 16x. So my formula work done will be equal to integral from a to b. But what will be the a to b? Remember, so our interval x initially I have one feet, I have 0 0.75. Then I have this is my extension. But here i'm not using extension but compression okay there's a compression x right so if you want to find the interval of x x has only been changed from 0 to 0 0.2.5 remember that when i add the 0 0.25 to this i'll get my total length okay so we use the 0 to 0 0.2.5 so sorry 0 to 0 0.25 okay then i'll have 16x right dx okay so once I have this expression, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll do my simple integral. And this is going to give me what? 8x, right? I'm going to have 8x squared 0 to 0 0.25. Then that will give me 0 0.5. Okay. So this is how we go about working fluid problem. Note your k. You put your k down. You look out for your x. That is where the extension, okay, the actual extension, right? Okay, so that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you for being with me in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.